Good morning. Beautiful day. Yesterday it was freezing. Today I came back to Jerusalem. I was preparing myself to the North Pole and now it's so hot. Um, this is the wall of the city. And we are at the Kidron Valley, Josephat Valley. Here it is in front of you. It's actually divided Jerusalem and I will talk about it soon. And Mount of Olives, which is a little bit sunny, uh, but still it's very important for me. It's important for me because of Daniel. No, not the prophet. Um, Daniel Fritz. Uh, e order um, Latin cross that are already blessed in the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And then I got a message yesterday about so many things that he wanted, but already took a video. But his story is a, such an amazing story and I would keep it between him and me. And I said to myself, I must go a little bit, I mean, to the slops of Mount of Olives to take a video for you, another one, a, uh, Daniel. Um, then in that case, um, you can see your name in Hebrew and in English. Um, it was so important for me, at least th that part of it. Then look up beautiful, look at the blue sky. And uh, no, someone already asked me about uh, the special camera that I have. It's only Samsung and not the latest one. And no, uh, this, this is the real blue sky of the city. Then in that way, uh, according to the Bible, the old one, according to the book of Joel, that would be the place that um, God will gather all the Gentiles, the non-Jews, and here he will judge them. That's going to be the last days of on, on earth. And in that case, it's also a very, very, um, very similar to Christianity as well. The book said, Joel uh, 4, 2, I will gather the old nations and will bring them down into the valley of Josephat. Josephat in Hebrew, Yehoshaphat, to judge. It's like God judge, Yehoshaphat, Joseph. Um, yeah, and I will enter into the judge, into judgment with them, therefore my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have secreted among all nations and divided my land. That in that case, this is the place, and in Hebrew it's going to be like that. The Kibbatzti Kol Agoyim, the Gentiles, Vauriditam El Emet Yehoshaphat, Joshaphat, God Judge, Vedishpati Mam Sham Al Ami Venechlati Israel, Israel, Asher Pizru Bagoyim, Gentiles, Veetarzi Chitko. The legend actually say that. God, one day, at the end of the days, he will appear right here and he will build a big bridge that will cross Josephat Valley and enter into the Mercy Gate. Now the Mercy Gate is the gate in front of you. Let me just show it to you. This is the Mercy Gate. In front of it, you can see um, a Muslim, uh, Muslim cemetery. Now, the Mercy Gate for the Christians is known by the Golden Gate. And one thing that I always forget to, to mention, look at the arches, look at the two entrances of the Golden Gate. And then, when you go back to my videos of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the same idea. The same, uh, the same... Uh, uh, gate. Ah, that's 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 totally new. Then in that matter, um, as we know by Christianity, 
Jesus, when he will come back from Mount of Olives, which is right here, and again, I'm so sorry that the sun is in your eyes, but this is Mount of Olives, he will enter, very similar to Palm Sunday procession, to the Golden Gate. Another story, Greek Orthodox and Catholic story, uh, versions tells us that in that um, in that gate, the couple, the mother of uh, the mother and father, the parents of Mary, the mother, were kissing each other when they heard that the angel Gabriel told them that although they couldn't bring children into the wood, they will bring Mary, holy woman. Then in that case, Daniel, this is especially for you, but there's more to see. All right. At the corner of the temple, and that is the wall that originally built by King Herod, but been destroyed so many times, and the only stones from King Herod that you can see from here are those stones. Then that is part of the plaza that King Herod built to create the temple. Now, where was the temple? You can see a little bit of the Dome of the Rock. You can see the top of it? Yeah. That is the foundation stone. That is where um, the stone, and uh, that is where, where the first stone ever located. Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac there, and then. God told the Jews to build his house on top of that. Then this is the holy of the holy for the Jews. According to the Muslims, Muhammad ascended into heaven from there and met God who gave him the five prayers of a day. What is important for us is that the corner there, so many Christians believe that this is um, the place that the devil, Satan, judge uh, Jesus. He told him, jump. If you believe in God, he will catch you. And he and just say, I won't try. Um, I won't try um, God. Then, that part of the Kidron Valley, you can see by yourself, is beautiful green with a lot of olive trees. And low, just in the valley, you can see some tombs of Christians that we already know about the Muslim uh, cemetery and now we know about the, um, uh, the Christian cemetery. What about the Jews? Oh, 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 most of Mount of Olives is covered with it and we will see it, uh, see it soon but another thing that lately happened and people are talking about it you can see the three letters yud hey vav and this is the three letters of the name of god suddenly it's there is it a miracle is it actually a sign for something well soon we will know we will actually i hope that something good will happen but here it is, you can see the cemetery, the Jewish cemetery. Now the Jewish cemetery is always outside the gates. And that is one of the reasons some, that some of the Christians believe that the tomb of Jesus, the, ch the church of the Holy Sepulchre, uh, which is inside the walls, and not only inside the walls, it's actually had the time square of, of it, then they believe that it couldn't be. Um, the correct place and they have another place that's called the garden tomb I'm not going into it yes or no you will have to choose by yourself um, but even the Bible mentioned that Jesus was crucified out of the gate like every other Jew then in that case the most important Jewish cemetery is in front of you the Sun will actually uh, there's a lot of sun here. I'm trying to go into the shade, uh, but no, it's too early for that. Then most of uh, most of them um, are from, let's say, first century until now. 
um, oh sorry, from the time of King David until now. The time of the, uh, King David, you see the village there? It's called Silwan. And that is the place that we found so many tombs from the time of King David. Here we find tombs from first century until now. You see, those people are building some more future tombs. People are buying. Uh, what is sad to see, and if you look at the uh, tombstone, at 1967, when the Jordanian conquered that place, they used the, uh, those um, tombstones for roads, for build houses. After 1967, we found a lot of them, and because we know where everyone are buried, we try to bring it back to their places, but you can see that there's a lot of tombs without tombstones. Then there, those Jews will be, um, I mean, they will be, they believe, they know that they will be the first one who will resurrect. A little bit about Mount of Olives. Uh, Mount of Olives, although you cannot see it from here, Daniel, uh, is a place of, um, it's, it's a miracle place. I mean, one side of it, that side, is totally green. The other side, if you will cross it, you will reach the desert. It is a miracle. And that's why so many miracles happen here. We believe that Jesus uh, was staying here out of the city, uh, mainly because he you was know, trying to hide from the sun. Uh, mainly because it was a little bit too dangerous to be in the city and um, although he was doing the Last Supper inside the city at Mount Zion which is there um, he went out of it and I want you to see the Church of All Nations Garden of Gethsemane it's right in front of you this is the church. Then in that case, so many things happen here. At the fourth century, we know the fourth and fifth century that there were 5,000 monks on that place with so many monasteries. But if you go back to the Bible, to the book of the kings, and we'll talk about King David, we know that King David, when he ran away from his son, uh, Absalom, he went all the way up to Mount of Olives and then to the Judean Desert. And um, if we're talking about Absalom, according to what so many people believe, this beautiful mon monumental tomb is the tomb of Absalom, the son of uh, King David. Um, what we know is that it was at least renovated at the time of King Herod. And City of David is there as well. Another thing that I can actually show it from here, show it for you, Daniel, and for my dear friends who's actually watching that video. And if you're watching that video and you like the idea, then please subscribe my channel. At the description, you will be able to see uh, so many details about how to connect me, how to reach me, and if you want, just like Daniel, to buy yourself um, a cross, different crosses, go into the link at the description of buy me a coffee and, um, and you will see how to get it. But not like Daniel, when you are um, buying that cross, please send me as much details as you want. If you want me to bless someone, if you want me to say something, I will do that because that cross I will send uh, to Daniel and thanks God I didn't send it yet when I uh, got the email uh, like a week and a half after you bought that Holy Cross. Then the energy of that cross is already strong. Then that building, represents another important story, important, important thing that happened according to the book of Acts, I think in chapter 2, and that's St. Stephen. That's where St. Stephen was done. 
then in that case, now we can understand how important it is. And, um, and you know what? Let's continue to the facade of the Church of God and of Gethsemane, Daniel. And, uh, and then we will say goodbye. Then you will be able to see a little bit more. I'm going to surprise another person uh, who lived in uh, Canada. No, Australia. He's a Greek Orthodox man. I won't mention his name I'm because it's so bright. And he mentioned something about his twin scars. Um, then again, write me as much as you can. I'm not going to talk about the story. It's between you and me. But I will understand better if there is another place in Jerusalem that I can bless your cross because of your stories. And don't forget to sell me your address. If you are living in America, in Israel, we don't know that it's America. It's USA. Then write USA. Then this is the facade of the church. Uh, the church is new. It's now only from 1924. But uh, what is important for our story, Daniel, oh, a little bit of shade and you can see, you can see Mount of Olives in front of you. This is Mary Magdalene Church, the Russian church. But now, you can see the garden itself, just behind, behind, I mean, behind the church or to the left of the church, actually, right there. Then Daniel and you, everyone, please subscribe me. And as the Jerusalem municipality say, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now it's January 6th. And what do you mean about Merry Christmas? Today it's Christmas Eve of the Greek Orthodox. Then Merry Christmas to all of you, although we're going to see it, um, let's see. Or two weeks after it uh, on YouTube, still Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to every everyone. Bye bye, my dears.